Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss important facts about Trigepatide. Trigepatide is available as a subcutaneous injection for weight loss in people with obesity. It can also be given to people with overweight who are having a few risk factors for cardiovascular complications. However, this medication should be used along with reduced calorie diet and increased physical activity. In this video, we will discuss important facts about this medication. First of all, let us see how this medication works. Trigepatide is a medication that can act as an agonist on incretin receptors. Incretin hormones are two types, GIP, glucose dependent insulinotropic polypeptide and GLP-1, glucagon like peptide 1. Trigepatide acts as an agonist on both of these receptors. It has a C20 fatty acid that binds to the albumin. Therefore, it has long half-life compared with indigenous incretin hormones. By binding to these incretin receptors, it can reduce appetite and it can reduce calorie intake. Particularly, it can lower the body weight with loss of greater fat mass. It also stimulates the insulin secretion in a glucose dependent manner. Even it can reduce glucagon secretion. This may help in reducing glucose levels, which further reduces body weight. Trigepatide can also delay gastric emptying, which can be observed with first doses. All these collectively can add to reducing the body weight in people with obesity or overweight. Effect on stomach Trigepatide causes few of the adverse effects on your stomach. It may increase gastrointestinal diseases like gastroparesis. It is a condition of reduced movement of food from the stomach to the small intestine. Trigepatide can also produce a delay in gastric emptying which can be observed with first dose. However, after continuation of the doses, the delay in the gastric emptying may be reduced. With these effects, you may have bloating, a feeling of fullness of the stomach, nausea and vomiting, abdominal pain and constipation. However, these gastrointestinal side effects may be somewhat severe in a few people with a previous history of any gastrointestinal disorders. What is the effect on the kidney? Trigepatide may produce diarrhea, nausea and vomiting. This may result in loss of fluids leading to dehydration. This may induce few kidney problems and may lead to acute kidney injury. In people with underlying renal disease or chronic renal failure, this condition may be more pronounced. Therefore, these symptoms should be closely monitored, particularly when you are initiating the dose or increasing the dose. In case of any development of these symptoms, renal function should be carefully monitored. What is the effect on gallbladder? Trigepatide can produce cholelithiasis, a condition where the formation of gallstones can obstruct biliary flow. It can also produce some cholecystitis, inflammation of the gallbladder. With use of trigepatide, you may have few symptoms like pain in the upper abdomen, fever, jaundice-like symptoms leading to yellowing of skin and eyes. You may also have clay-colored stools. Effect on pancreas. Trigepatide can produce inflammation of the pancreas leading to pancreatitis. This may be associated with a few symptoms like abdominal pain, either with or without vomiting. If you have persistent severe abdominal pain that radiates to the back that either may be associated with vomiting, it may indicate the development of pancreatitis. In case of development of pancreatitis, this drug should be discontinued and it should not be reinitiated. Hypersensitivity Trigepatide may cause angioedema in a few people. This may result in swelling of the face, lips, tongue and throat. It may also produce trouble breathing and trouble swallowing. Severe rash or itching may also be observed. Fainting, dizziness, rapid heartbeats can also be observed. However, these side effects are not observed in all people and a few of the people are sensitive to this medication. If such symptoms are observed, immediately this medication should be discontinued. Effect on glucose levels. Trigepatide can produce hypoglycemia. This is particularly more pronounced when this medication is combined with other antidiabetic agents like sulfonylureas or the use of external insulin preparations. This may result in dizziness, lightheadedness, sweating, 
confusion, drowsiness, headache, blurred vision, slurred speech and fast heartbeats. Therefore, glucose level should be carefully monitored when this tirgepatide is used with other anti-diabetic agents. Pulmonary aspiration. In the people who are undergoing surgical procedures with general anesthesia or deep sedation, the risk of pulmonary aspiration may be increased with use of tirgepatide. This medication can delay the gastric emptying. Therefore, it may increase the risk of food or liquid getting into the lungs during the surgery or sedation. Therefore, during the surgical procedures, this medication may be temporarily discontinued. Effect on mode. Trigeptide can produce some changes in the mode. Particularly, it can increase the suicidal initiation. On increasing the dose, again abnormal thoughts can be observed. Therefore, any unusual change in the mood or worsening of depressive symptoms should be carefully monitored with use of tirgepatide. Effect on contraception Tirgepatide may interact with oral contraceptives which may lead to loss of their efficacy and loss of contraception. In such conditions, other types of contraceptives should be used for 4 weeks after the administration of tirgepatide. Now let us see the side effects of this medication. Tirgepatide mainly produces gastrointestinal side effects. The common side effects mainly include nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, constipation, abdominal pain and indigestion. It can also produce injection site reactions. Other side effects like hair loss and heartburn can also be observed. Few people may also observe allergic reactions leading to skin rashes and itching. How to take this medication? Trigeptide should be used with a reduced calorie diet and increased physical activity. This medication is given as a subcutaneous route. It can be injected in the abdomen, thigh or upper arm. It can be given for each week at any time of the day. The site of injection should be rotated in order to avoid local reactions. The same site of injection should not be used for every injection. It should be rotated each time. Initially, it should be started at a low dose and gradually the dose may be increased after 4 weeks. Therefore, it should be started at a dose of 2.5 mg given by subcutaneous route. After 4 weeks, it can be increased to 5 mg for every 1 week. Based on the requirement, the dose may be further increased up to 15 mg per week. So that's all about the different facts of tirgepatide that is used for weight loss in people with obesity and overweight. Effects on gallbladder, pancreas and kidneys are more important. And this medication mainly produce gastrointestinal side effects which should be carefully monitored with using low doses initially and gradually increase the dose over a few weeks to minimize these gastrointestinal side effects. So that's all about this medication Tirgepatide which is well known with its brand name Jebbound. I hope this video is useful to you. If you really like this video please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button to support our work. Please share your comments in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.